Hi everyone, some exciting news um, that's just happened in the last 10 days uh, here at the Florida Squeeze. So um, myself, Carter Krishnire, and Robert Bucciolato, we published books previously, self-published books under the Florida Squeeze uh, moniker, like uh, uh, this book that I, I, I published uh, earlier this year, um, uh, The American Conquest of Florida. Um, was published by us, but it was really self-published. You can get it from Amazon, uh, maybe some other places where we've gotten the book uh, published, uh, where we gotten the book distributed, I should say. Uh, Robert, uh, late last year, published uh, um, Rum Runners and Moonshiners of Old Florida, Volume 2, um, in a similar way, Florida Squeeze pub um, publication. Uh, same thing with a book on, on Abraham Lincoln's Ghost. Um, that was a Florida Squeeze publication. <laughs> Uh, as were my my books in the Albion, Florida series, right? Like uh, Florida and the British, uh, uh, etc. Um, so now we've got the good fortune um, of having received a pub uh, a publishing contract with Casemate, which is a a, a UK based publisher to co author a book um, to Florida Squeeze contributors co author a book about uh, the Florida campaigns. In the American Revolution, so that would include both um, the battles we had in East Florida, uh, in present day Nassau County, present day Duval County, and um, the, um, the 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 uh, political intrigue and the attempts to capture Saint Augustine by the Continental Army, right by the U.S. Uh, and the naval battle we had off the Florida coast, uh, off of Cape Canaveral, uh, as well as the Gulf Coast Front, which culminated with the uh, Spanish capture of Pensacola. Uh, with the assistance of the French in 1781. So um, this is a real exciting new chapter, so to speak, for us. I'm heading off to, to Jacksonville um, in the next few days to, to commence research uh, for this book. And um, the tentative publication date um, is toward the end of 2025 uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, the U.S., it'll be published a little earlier in the United Kingdom. So just wanted to give you all an update on that. That's something uh, we're going to be doing here. Uh, it will not interrupt the normal uh, Florida History podcast uh, run that we're going through right now with the uh, with the season on the governors. Um, now, once that season ends, once we're done with that, uh, we're going to go through Rick Scott, right? We're not going to cover Ron DeSantis because... Uh, he's the current governor, and, and from a historical perspective, uh, you need a little bit of a lens um, to, to focus, a little perspective. Um, but we are going to go through Rick Scott. Once we're done with that, we're, we're, we're in the middle of Leroy Collins right now. We have another Leroy Collins episode coming out on Tuesday, which is going to be more expansive um, than just kind of the overview we did in the first episode about him, which was released this past Tuesday. Uh, but then that obviously leaves us, uh, we're skipping Ferris Bryant and... Uh, and um, Hayden Burns, who um, I, mean, I Ferris Bryant did some things. Uh, Hayden Burns was very un indistinguished, really a bit of an embarrassment, quite frankly. We are going to do Claude Kirk, multiple episodes on Claude Kirk, uh, episodes on Askew, uh, Graham. Um, the Graham episode, um, we've uh, we did a Graham episode earlier this year when he passed away, so uh, it's going to have elements of that. Uh, episodes on Long Childs, Jeb Bush, Charlie Christen, and, and um, Rick Scott. Um, so, uh, we've got, th those are all going to be taped. Um, the, the question is, as we're finishing this manuscript, will we put the podcast on pause after we're done with the Florida governors for maybe a few weeks before we start, um, whatever our next season, our next, um, area of focus will be. So that's Florida history podcast in terms of the Florida squeeze. I don't anticipate any changes. The political season has, has, has wound down. We're going to be getting back to doing, other things related to Florida. We might have a bankruptcy of Spirit Airlines, Florida-based airline, um, Chapter 11 bankruptcy very soon. So that's something uh, we'll obviously be covering in addition to everything else uh, that's pertinent uh, to our wheelhouse in the Sunshine State. So thank you for your continued patronage of the Florida Squeeze and uh, look forward to speaking to everybody real soon.